and they're off in the Coral Lanzarote handicap hurdle. And as they break away from the start, good luck charm is prominent. So too, Orkin Risk and towards the outside, Irish Hill, who is the grey. Up for parole is also prominent. And so too is Ampos Trois as they go over flight number one, at which the back marker was Teddy Blue. And Teddy Blue is already uh, about a length and a half to two lengths behind the others. Also towards the rear of the field on the inside is Serious Operator as they go on towards the second flight of hurdles and the early pace looks very strong with Orkin Risk on the outside of Up for Parole. Those are the first duo with Irish Hill who's racing out wide took that flight in third place. The one who flattened that flight of hurdles may well have been Nemi and Lion as they go now towards the end of the back straight. So it is Up for Parole on the inside of Orkin Risk. Those are the first two. Ampos Twa against the inside rail is racing in a share of third with Irish Hill on that one's outside and Good Luck Charm the Mayor is between the horses. Then Sonny Gino out very wide in the yellow colours. He's around the outside of Mark of Gold and then Quinta de Mar followed then on the inside by Nimi and Lion and also against the rail is Samuel Spade. Then Hermino a little bit wide in the field to J.J. Riley. After J.J. Riley is Mott Hill in the all green silks and then Caleb as they made the turning. King Alexander sticking towards the inside. Langer Dan is racing out a little bit wider to that one and wider still as they come up the home straight is Wonder Wall. Serious operator is last, but one on the back market is Teddy Blue as they go over flight number three, and they're all safely over. And it is up for parole, the third last year, who leads the way to Orkin Risk, who is in second place, and then in third towards the outside is Irish Hill. With good luck, Charm in fourth, then Quinta de Mar, and on the inside came Ampos Trois as they got over the flight, which were the last of the circuit's time. Amino was ridden away in midfield from that flight of hurdles. So they have a circuit to go in the Coral Lanzarote, and it's up for parole who leads Orkin Risk in second place. Towards the outside, Irish Hill is just in third, and Good Luck Charm is in fourth. And then in fifth is Quinta de Mar in the red, white, and blue. On the inside is Ampos Trois looking for a bit of racing room around that turn. Nimian Lion is next, followed by Sonny Gino, who's a little bit wide. Then towards the inside is Samuel Spade. He's then being followed by Mark of Gold. After Mark of Gold is JJ Riley and Amino, who's racing out wide. Mott Hill is just slightly worse than midfield, with King Alexander on that one's inside. They're being followed by Caleb and Wonderwall, and after those, towards the inside, races the check sleeves of Sirius Operator and Teddy Blue still at the back of the field of 19 as they got over the next flight. That was flight number five, and up for parole, still just has a slender lead over Orkin Risk, and out wide is Irish Hill. Those were the first three. Orkin Risk, a slight mistake as they went over flight number six. And so they've gone through halfway, and they're about to go through their starting point, heading inside the final mile now, all of the Coral, Lanzarote, and it is to the inside up for parole. Orkin Risk between rivals, and around the outside, Irish Hill. Those have always been just about the first three. Followed by Quinta de Mar, who races towards the outside. He's racing alongside Ampos Twa as they go into that turn to take them now into the back straight. Samuel Spade is just in behind that leading group as they make the run now down the back and racing on towards the fourth from home. And it is Irish Hill on the outside of Orkin Risk and up for parole. Those are the first three. Quinta de Mar and Good Luck Charm, followed by Ampos Trois on the inside. And we have a faller there, and the faller was Mark of Gold. Mark of Gold has gone, and hampered Wonder Wall has also been brought down. Wonder Wall was brought down by Mark of Gold at the fourth from home. Langadang has dropped right out the back of the field, and he's driven and last, and last but now he's Amino and also Caleb towards the rear of the field. They're going now over the third from home. Orkin Risk in the center. Irish Hill on the outside. Outside. Up for parole on the inner. Those are still the first three. Sonagino creeping into it together with Quinta de Mar and also JJ Riley with the orange cap. Still there is Good Luck Charm and En Postois towards the inside. Teddy Blue is another one who's checking off rivals. Mott Hill is beginning to get involved. Nimian Lion and then on the inside is King Alexander followed by Samuel Spade and Caleb around the outside. Towards their inner is Sirius Operator. Hermino is one of those who's beginning to tail off. Langadan is also some way behind the main body of the field but still plenty of chances as they make the run into the home straight. They've got two flights of hurdles to take and Irish Hill has got the lead. Here's Teddy Blue towards the near side. JJ Riley has every chance. Nimian Lyon is staying on. On post to towards the inside. Those are the first five as they get over the second from home and it's JJ Riley who just has the lead over on post to over on the far side. Nimian Lyon between them. Then Teddy Blue towards the near side. Serious operator is staying 
staying on from a long way back. It's JJ Riley at the final flight of the Lanzarote. He led by a length and a half over Nimian Lion in second. They've got a half furlong to go. JJ Riley needs the line. Nimian Lion is lunging, racing up towards the line. JJ Riley takes the Coral Lanzarote. Nimian Lion in second. On pass Twa in third. Good luck charm was fourth. Serious operator in fifth. Teddy Blue followed home by King Alexander. What a day for Tristan Durrell, wins the Coral Lanzarote on JJ Riley returning to hurdles, having earlier won one of our chases on Phlegmatic. Tristan, days don't get much better than this. Where does it figure in your career? It's unbelievable. Um, yeah, obviously the best day of my career. Um, I've never ridden a double before. And is that right? To have a, a double on a big day like this is just unreal. And to win the Lanzarote, it's a big competitive handicap and um, I'm just very grateful for Dan and the owners and Harry for putting me up and putting their trust in me um, so it's nice to uh, nice to uh, nice to go and win and Bridget is here uh, saddling up and she knows these horses so well and she just looked at me and said god even I didn't expect that one JJ no. Riley could you have anticipated something like that no it was funny on the way down I said to Bridget I said you need to tell me how to win a Lanzarote because she won last year she did of course and um, she just said you need you need an OK start, you're not too far away because there's so many runners um, and just try and keep out of the trouble and, and, and that's where I was. Um, I had a nice bit of room, I just followed Harry Cobden through and uh, yeah, it, was, it couldn't have worked out better for me. Yeah, Ben, ben Godfrey just congratulating you there. Richard Patrick here has ridden the runner up to me in line. I thought he had a chance just coming to the last but you always seem to be holding him. Yeah, um, it's funny, he's a big price and at, the, at home we all thought he had a big chance. He's never felt so well all year and back over hurdles they just uh, they gain confidence don't they and uh, yeah we thought he had a good chance but it's always unbelievable when it happens isn't it and phlegmatic looked fantastically straightforward today for him yeah yeah he was brilliant um, he, he just tanked me around I think he quite enjoyed uh, taking the mickey out of me but um, yeah he, he did that well as well so and five for the yard so far could be more to come there's going to be some celebration tonight yeah yeah exactly great day for the team and uh, no it's just brilliant well done, Tristan. Congratulations. Thank you, Nick. Thanks. Watch live racing now on racingtv.com.